Hello students, uh, myself Mewul Kodia from LG Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in today's session, we have to discuss one topic uh, related to chapter geometric transformation. So in today's uh, session, we have to discuss last topic of this chapter that is orthographic and perspective projection transformation. Okay. Now you already learned what is orthographic projection and what is perspective projection in engineering graphics. Okay. So in today's session, we have to discuss something related to orthographic uh, uh, projection and perspective projection and second topic that we have to discuss that is window to view for transformation so in today's session we have to discuss main these two topic and this is the last two topic of this chapter in next session we have to learn or we have to start one new chapter that is mathematical representation of some okay so what is a uh, orthographic projection in orthographic projection, the direction of projection is normal to the projection of plan and three are uh, types of orthographic projection that is uh, front projection, second one that is top projection and third one that is side projection. Now you already learned what is orthographic projection. In orthographic projection, if you have a one 3D object, at that time you have to observe this object from different directions. Like if you observe this object from front side at that time that is the projection is a front projection if you observe this object from this side view at that time this projection consider as a side projection if you observe this object from the top side at that time that is the top side projection so in orthographic projection there is a total three view generated for any of the object front view side view and top view inside you there is a two two parts either a left hand side view or right hand side view okay so this is the simple orthographic projection in, in, you can easily understand this thing from below figure in below figure there is a one object is there and three different view generated for, of that object that is a first one that is front view second one that is side view and third one that is top view clear so you can easily understand uh, from that that is a how to generate a, a three view of any of the three view object okay now in orthographic projection if you have any of the three d object at that time there is two method to generate a front view side view top view uh, like a first one that is first angle method and second one that is third angle method okay these two method already you learn in engineering graphics okay now next what is perspective projection? Now, if you uh, project find projection from any of the particular point at that time, that type of projection in perspective projection, either the size of object is increased or reduced. Okay, in perspective projection, the distance from the center of projection to the projected plane is the finite, and the size of the object vary inversely with distance, which look more realistic. Okay. Once again, I said, if you have any of the object like this, if you find projection from this particular point, and if you find projection plan, if you find out projection or projection projected plan at that time, there is a one uh, dimension is generated for this particular object. If you change the position of projection point at that time, size of object is very with distance. Okay, so this is the simple perspective projection. The distance and angle are not preserved and parallel line do not remain parallel. If you find a projection about par in perspective projection, parallel line are not considered as a parallel line because parallel line are converted into the inclined line because we generate projection about one particular point. Okay, that they all converge at a single point. Okay, all parallel line converge at a single point and called of center of projection or projection reference point so this is the simple perspective projection we have to see some example of perspective projection and some method of perspective projection later okay now one point two point and three point in perspective projection there is total three types of projection first one that is one point projection second one that is two point projection third one that is three point so what is the difference between them Okay, what is a one point projection? That is, perspective projection is simple to draw. In a one point projection, we have to just simple to draw the any of the object. Two point, what is the two point perspective projection? Perspective projection gives better impression of depth. Once you consider two point at that time, you can easily understand that what is the depth of the object. 
Okay, and what is the three point? Perspective projection is most difficult to do if you have any of the object which is more complicated at that time uh, and that object cannot be projected about 1.2 point or 2 point at that time we have to use three point perspective projection method. Okay, this is used for the most difficult object. Okay, so this is the method for uh, uh, perspective projection that is three method. Is you can uh, see in this uh, diagram that is 1 point, 2 point and 3 point. Now we have to discuss or we have to understand based on figure what is 1 point projection, perspective projection, 2 point perspective projection and 3 point perspective projection. Now in this figure there is a 3 figure is there. First one that is first point projection. If you have one rectangle, if you consider any of the single point and you consider two direction at that time one uh, project in, in a projected plan, one projection is generated that is one point projection. What is two point projection? If you consider if you have any of the object in inclined position, okay, at that time you have to consider two point and you have to uh, find out the projection. And what is three point projection? If your object is in space in 3D plane at that time that object is projected in all the plane like a top view, side view, front view. At that time, we have to use three point perspective projection method. So, this is the all the all time of perspective projection methods. Now, next topic that is window to viewport transformation. Now, what is the window to viewport transformation method? It is the simple thing. What is the meaning of window to if you have any of the object, if you have a very large object. Now, from that object, if you want to analyze one small portion of that object, at that time, you have to visualize or you have to observe some small portion. What is the meaning of viewport transformation? If you have one large object and if you want to draw or if you want to select some selected portion of that object, at that time, we have to use this type of transformation. Okay. So, window to viewport transformation is the process of transferring a 2D world coordinate object to the device coordinate. Okay, then object inside the world or clipping window are mapped to the viewport which is the area on the screen where world coordinate are mapped to the display. Clear? Now we have to understand how to convert a window to viewport transformation or how to convert a world coordinate system into the device coordinate system using this figure. Now we have one object. In that object, there is two type, two triangle is there. Clear? Now from this two triangle, if you want to find out or if you want to observe only small portion of this object. So you can uh, see in this figure, there is one small portion selected uh, in that large object. Okay, that is called window. Clear? That is selected portion is considered as a window and that window we uh, observe in next figure in enlarged form it's called a viewport okay so in first figure there is a total four coordinate is there first one that is x min and x max and second one that is y min and y max in the window or uh, coordinate system or world coordinate system there is a x coordinate in suffix we consider that is x w because of that coordinate system is the world coordinate system and second figure that is the device coordinate system. So in that figure again we have to generate four coordinates from selected part. In second figure you can easily understand that in first figure there is one large object. In second figure just a view that is the selected portion of the large object. Clear? So that is the simple window to viewport transformation. In window to viewport transformation again x and y generate the new position. Clear? In next figure, there is a code value of coordinate for the x and y coordinate we change according to the selected portion. So this is the simple window to viewport transformation. And what is the general terms using this transformation? First one, world coordinate. Now what is the world coordinate? It is the Cartesian coordinate with respect to which we define the diagram. In diagram, in large, in large object diagram, we define the coordinate that is the world coordinate like x w mean x w max y w mean and y w max second one device coordinate system now what is the meaning of device coordinate system it is the screen coordinate where the object is to be displayed means once we select some small portion after that we 
we uh, generate one figure for from that small portion to another Cartesian coordinate system that is the device coordinate system. It is the screen coordinate where the object is to be displayed like x v mean x v max. V indicate the view code, W indicate the uh, uh, world coordinate system okay or window code. Y w mean and y w max. This is the device coordinate and above is a world coordinate. Okay. Next window, it is the area on world coordinate selected for display. Means whatever area you select, that is the area considered as a window code. Clear? And last one, that is view code. What is the view code? It is the area on device coordinate where graphics is to be displayed. Selected portion is displayed on the screen. That is screen is considered as a view code transformation. So, in uh, today's session, we discuss main two topics. First one that is orthographic projection. The orthographic projection already you learn in engineering graphic subject. And second that is uh, perspective projection. In perspective projection, you learn three methods there one part perspective projection, two part perspective projection, and three part perspective projection. Okay. And in orthographic projection, again two method first angle method and third angle method. Okay. And a second topic we discuss that is window to view for transformation means if you who have any of the complicated object or any of the large object if you analysis some small portion of that large object at that time you have to just select that area and that area display in the another screen okay that is the simple thing of window to view for transformation okay so this is the simple thing so in today's session we complete the chapter number uh, uh, four that is geometric transformation okay so in today's session we complete that chapter in next session we start one new chapter that is mathematical representation of solid in that chapter we have to discuss about what is solid modeling what is surface modeling what is wireframe modeling different types of method of mathematical representation of solid or how to generate any of the object from 2d how to convert any of the object from two dimensional to three dimensional method so all things we have to discuss in next session and in next lecture Thank you.